Good evening, everyone. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Islands Wednesday. We are postcard travel planning, as you can see in the back right there. Yeah. Oh, you do back that. There. Way up there. Over there. There it is. Jeez. Postcard travel planning. We are coming to you with the latest travel news. We have some exciting things. You know, we've been on the road and we've had a uh, fair service that we were able to pull it off on wow. the road. Um, we had some great lives. If you didn't see them, go back and mm -hmm. watch, especially from Sandals. We gave you uh, up close and personal with the over the water bungalows. We'll talk a little bit about that and a couple other things in a little bit. Yeah, we're going to be launching some videos. Look at our YouTube. Uh, Gabby is uh, uploading a bunch of stuff for us as we speak. A bunch of sandal stuff, a bunch of our trip on Carnival Venezia, going to the islands, uh, MSC, uh, everybody, uh, everything. Yeah, we yeah. did a great, great. So we got a lot of stuff coming out. So keep looking at that. We got a lot of information. If you want to see something or want to know something about something we've done, um, it's right up there. And we do have one thing we're going to, we're going to do a, maybe a podcast on this cruising out of New York. We figured it out. We yeah. absolutely figured it out. And it was real easy. It wasn't time. complicated. It was beautiful. Yeah. We beautiful. Really it's, we got the way. It could be a nightmare. We get it, but we mm -hmm. got the way. So we'll do a podcast on that. So, yeah. So welcome, everyone. Um, yep. And uh, just like and share. Uh, share to your groups. Um, if you do a group share, please uh, type in group share. You'll get double entries. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, like our video. Um, make sure... On YouTube, you're re-watching us, so we're not live. Um, but make sure you come over and tune into us on Facebook. Postcard Travel Planning, Islands Wednesday, you can see us live. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. And then if you are pop onto the live, you can be entered to uh, win a gift card. So Yeah, yeah. We, we have, um, we, we're all over the place. So we have different, on all social media and everything, you can find different things. Uh, Gabby, who works with us, is amazing. She's doing some downloads on a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Okay. So, right away, let's get right to the drink of the week. Okay. Did you do the housekeeping already? Sorry. Yeah, I just oh, did yeah. the housekeeping. Sorry. <laughs> I was watching okay. you. Okay. All right. So, the drink of the week is about. our coconut Caribbean martini. Ta da. Uh, yeah, I have it. And she has a, a pie. A pie. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. How's your water? Water's good. My Caribbean martini is delicious. Tell them why we got water. Um, okay, so I, I, we were kind of waiting for um, quite a bit of you to come oh. on. To come on. Oh yeah, so the, we'll talk about the Caribbean martini. Then. Okay. All right, so the Caribbean martini, we got to give. First? Yes, we okay, got to go give ahead. a shout out to Ricardo. Yes. Right? I was saying Ricardo, and it's, it's actually Ricardo mm -hmm. from South Coast Jamaica mm -hmm. Sandals. Uh, he came up with this. It's it's something. It's a staple there, and we had it two different ways. So we wanted to show you this one. Because this one isn't green like the other one we had. But um, this is, uh, Dakota did an amazing job at the bar at the uh, Sandal South Coast. So first off, you, you don't tip there, right? And the service is absolutely amazing. Yeah. They're fun. They're in, entertaining. They're interactive. They come out and talk to you. They actually, one of the bartenders was dancing with several people who were there dancing Not with Amy. Yep, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it was amazing, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. And they, we learn about this drink. And every time we go somewhere, we learn about a new drink or a new way or something new that they're doing. So pretty awesome. Uh, they did an amazing job with that. So, yeah. Yes. And you can look at the video. Look at the video. You're going to see it because I give you a little shout out to Sandals around there and, and uh, mm -hmm. show you where we are. And just that little piece of the big, uh, huge Sandal South Coast. When I tell you huge, I walked from one end to the other and it was over half a mile. And it doesn't even, they own land all the way around this bay. And it is, it would be uh, almost a mile for me to walk all the way to the end of what Sandals yes. owns there. So, and very clean, very organized, very. Yeah. So it, it will be part of our um, Meet the Resort um, series that we're doing with the, the cruise, that we're also doing with the cruise ships. Um, so we'll talk, a, let's talk a little bit about while you're drinking water. I know oh, yeah. um, quite a fit, few of, bit of you. Um, know that we came home um, last Wednesday and um, Thursday, Dennis was scheduled for a heart cath, uh, which we thought, I know a heart cath is really not routine, um, but we did not expect to uh, find anything. However, he did have to have two stents put in his heart. He had a 90% and 70% blockage. So I do want to say one thing. We He looks very handsome and very good. Um, and so And healthy. So... <laughs> 
we are both very blessed that he is sitting here because he did not have any symptoms. Um, so we just wanted to share that with you all because we were going to have all of our videos put out this weekend, um, but we were a little derailed. Um, but he looks phenomenal. So we're happy that he's here. To, yeah. To drive me crazy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I will tell you, <laughs> uh, you know, I think you it's a, it's a message because somebody said to me, they came in right after it happened and go, you don't look like you've been in the hospital or had two stents. Yeah. It was a Southern medical group. We got to give a shout out to them. Tallahassee Memorial hospital. There's no way the surgeon told Amy, I'm shocked that I found that mm. when I tell you I, we were in sandals, I ran 5.3 miles walk and run. That's what I do now. So I walked a half a mile and I, I, I would run for up to five minutes, it's two minute sprints yeah. and stop for and two or three minutes, day, run sprint have. stairs, mm -hmm. five 30 in the morning. I go out and I work out for about an hour and a half, go to the gym. And I was pushing myself the past uh, six, eight weeks, uh, <laughs> changing uh, some things up in my routine and everything. And I told her, I said, there's no way anything can be wrong. There's no way I could do this, not be winded, not have signs, not have symptoms. Bam. I was wrong. So Southern Medical, a shout out, uh, Dr. Kerala, yeah. Dr. Noel that did the operation, uh, Mel Vivi, the, the, the nurse have, practitioner, the nurse practitioner for all the tests. that sent and, the tests in. So, yeah. And I do have to say the good Lord above, because um, we do know that he had a hand in that and someone was watching over him um, because normally for the reason that she sent him, they probably normally mm -hmm. wouldn't send somebody for uh, all the testing that she did, but she did. And we're thankful that she did now and not to make light of the situation, but I do have to tell you my husband and his, all his glory. Um, I have been known and I think my mother is watching, um, as nurse ratchet. That's what they call me. This one right here. And, um, <laughs> my mom. And why do you call me that? Uh, she's not the best bedside mm -hmm. manner caretaker. Yes. Yeah, so, She's like, I, suck it up, buttercup. Yeah, yeah. So I come in after this has happened and I did kiss him on the forehead and he looked at me, he goes, it must be really bad because you're usually not a compassionate caregiver. <laughs> That's what he said to me. Yeah. So I just thought that was pretty funny. So yeah. And I do have, lay in there after that. He had to like, give me a little jab there. <laughs> I, I figured something out. So just so you all know. So if you ever want to know if your wife loves you or your husband loves you, go through something like this and attest you because she came in the room and she's visibly shaken and crying. And she goes, you don't know. I said, no, we almost lost you. You had 90% sent blockage and they saved you and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay. Because if she came in the room and said, ah, whatever, it's just a routine thing. What get over it. Then you would know she didn't care, but she cares. See, I'm not always nurse um, ratchet. I'm just saying I'm not always. Yeah. See, my mom says ice water in the veins. Oh, that's yeah, right. She, that's yeah, the other she thing says she that says. To me all that, exactly. Uh -huh, ice yeah. water. Not now, like, not as of late. Not as of late. No, I have been a very good caregiver. I've got the ice water these these past few days. I'm just saying, all of you that know me on here know that that is not true. I don't know what the two of them are talking about. Well, we're, we're going to leave you with this. I know. Well, first off, thank you all, and several people on here prayers. have already called me. Some people had sent stuff, and I appreciate that. I, it because it's you people that get us through this. When people, friends, family, coworkers, uh, clients that reach out and just say, you know, it's hope and so forth. Of course, our children, our children, uh, amazing. But I will leave you with this. No signs, no symptoms. Nope. I'm not on any medication. 61 years old, never on any medication oh, at yeah. all. Do not take for granted every day that you have. Do not um, go to the doctor. Go, go to the doctor. Listen to them. If you think you something, ask questions. Because if they didn't on this whim that she just said, you know what? Let's just redo all this testing. And she redid all the testing and they found an anomaly. They said, we just want to check. It could be nothing. Surgeon thought it was nothing. Yeah. And it was something. But I'm healthy. They said I'll live to and 90. I, and so. I know some of you on here may not have known. We've tried to kind of reach out. Um, but literally, this was all happened when we got back on Thursday. And um, all weekend, he wasn't able to use his mm -hmm. arm. So it's been a crazy four, four days. Um, so we apologize if we couldn't get Still to everyone. The blood there. Uh, yeah, if we couldn't get to everyone, but we really tried. But we are back on the mend, and um, you know, jumping right back into it. Yeah, as much as we can. And I see some people <laughs> just jumped on there. Long story short, those of you that know me, we're traveling, doing whatever, exercising, whatever. Went in the hospital for a kind of a re what we thought was a routine thing. Oh, Josh, cath, asking, yeah, cath, cath, uh, cath, heart cath. Heart cath. Because of some tests while we were on the cruise, actually we're on the cruise he was on. Yeah, Josh. And they, and they happened to mention that, hey, you know, we need you to come in for this. I said, what? And I talked to my mother-in-law and she uh, was a car cardiac cath nurse for years. Long story short, 
uh, two stents in my heart, some blockage, uh, saved by good doctors, Tallahassee Memorial Hospital, uh, Southern Medical, and everybody that helped in there. Uh, they saw something. They just wanted to look a little further, and the surgeon said he was shocked that he found that. Yeah, so anyway. And, um, Josh is on here. Tell uh, Erica, we said hello. Josh was with Josh and Erica were with us. We met them on the Carnival Venezia. And they can attest how much he uh, worked out. And we did and was uh, a wonderful cruise. So um, anyway, let's move on to our. We had fun time. God's blessing. Thank you all. And thank God. All the glory goes to yes. him. For some reason, I'm here. So and they said uh, for the next uh, I'll lift it. To drive me crazy. B90. Uh, actually, very healthy. They said my <laughs> whole inside system is very healthy. They said I should live many, many years. Yes. So. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. All right. All right. What news Moving are we on. tonight? Want to start with Carnival? Uh, yep. Go ahead. Okay. So Carnival released that they have some actually some new West Coast sailings, which would be out of California. Um, 2024, 2025 itineraries uh, released. So if you want to do something new or you live uh, West Coast, they have some new itineraries. I'll be uh, posting that and putting some of those out um, for you. Um, while we're on Carnival, of course, we were on the Carnival v Venezia. Uh, she is coming to Port Canaveral, but she is still doing some sailings out of New York, uh, which I, I thought Miami was going to be my favorite port. It, it was my favorite port until we cruised out of New York. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it even was raining and I didn't stay outside the whole time. Um, but just beautiful, um, going through there and, and, and sailing out of there. So it's um, we loved nation's it. Nation's capital, yeah. really. Mm. And, and very, when we say easy, it was fairly easy. Um, you know, we took the ferry from New Jersey, walked, believe it or not, I did walk two blocks with my suitcases, which was not bad, um, and jumped on the cruise ship. So, yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. And it was a great, great, that was a great trip. That was, and yeah. we're going to map out everything because we did, we did so much in uh, nine days. It's crazy. And we had a great time and uh, we met some great friends on there, lifelong friends, because uh, we mm -hmm. just gelled. I mean, uh, everything, it doesn't matter where you're from, what you do, how old you are, doesn't matter anything about it. That's what we love about cruising. Everybody puts their differences aside, their mm -hmm. bias aside and all that stuff. But we did meet some uh, Josh and Erica, uh, lifelong friends. Yep. Now. Uh, we got them. <laughs> yeah. And it, uh, didn't you have a story about Carnival credit card fraud? Oh yeah, I got yeah. a great story. At Carnival credit. Okay. So, so J Jordan, our, our our son's in Coast Guard, New York City, which took us around on an amazing Coast Guard forty five. You saw some of that postings. We're gonna be posting more of that. And like Amy said, we're we're short on that because Thursday we were hit with this, and we've been down mm, since uh, yeah. today's like the first day we're like kind of kind of back. Yeah. So I'll tell you <laughs> a little bit about the Carnival thing. News. So that so basically four four people. I don't have it. I have it up Virginia, here. Yeah. yeah, I took some notes down, <laughs> but I have it all up here. So uh, an interesting article. So our son Jordan has this saying when he was in high school, is you dumb or is you stupid? And I've used this on it. It's the funniest damn thing. Is it you is dumb funny. or is you stupid? Well, here we go. Four people get on a cruise ship, carnival, celebration, Miami. Is you dumb or is you stupid? They had stolen credit cards. They went out for their cruise. They thought they had it all jacked up. They went into casino, charged up $20,000 in the casino. They had $11,000 cash they withdrew from the Carnival Casino, and they had $2,700 worth of stuff they bought on the ship with the bad credit cards, and they, they went bad, right? So they kept putting them up there uh, at the thing. So long story short, is you dumb or is you stupid? Do you <laughs> not think times. that the Miami-Dade police is going to uh, find this out yeah. and United States Customs on the cruise ship and that Carnival Cruise Lines not going to figure it out? Carnival Cruise Lines figured it out called uh customs customs called miami dade as soon as they got off they're all in jail so there you go so this is is your dumber is just uh, but i don't understand Six how times. they let them charge twenty thousand dollars in the casino like well i guess that person had a good old credit limit i would have noticed if somebody yeah. took a hundred dollars i've been shutting that card off like quickly well you know how they did it they went down and they they posted it on the uh oh. at the at the oh yeah i guess they did withdraw yeah once they're at sea they just posted it at the front desk and then they had a credit limit and they kept going back yeah. and kept going back. Yeah. Hey, they had, a, they had a great four days they until did. like until came to port. Yeah. Should have got off in the Bahamas. <laughs> Should have never made it back to Miami. Okay. Oh, goodness. What's next? Okay. All right. So uh, let's do World Caribbean because uh, there was some great news. 
Icon of the Seas passed all its sea trials, so she is ready to go. She's ready to come uh, over to Port Canaveral and start sailing. Um, they did release some of the shows that are going to be on. One of them is going to be Wizard of Oz. Um, so it says, send your clients to the Yellow Brick Road to our biggest cast and orchestra ever, plus our most advanced production yet in the Broadway hit musical, The Wizard of Oz. Um, the other one's going to be Aqua Action. So they're going to have, uh, you know, it's not going to have your, like the uh, Harmony with in the back, the Harmony of the Seas where they dive, but it's going to have a huge Aqua Dome where they're going to do water shows and all kinds of uh, acrobatics and things. Um, they're also going to do Starbust Elementary, I'm sorry, not Elementary, Elemental Beauty. Um, and then Orchestrating Unforgettable Show Band Live Music. Um, it, it's just going to be great. They're going to have phenomenal shows. I think it's probably the best that they've ever had. Um, I'm excited about Wizard of Oz. So speaking of the icon, we do still have inside cabins, um, and we have family surfside balconies. Now they are, when I tell you half the price, they are half the price of what they're pricing at now. So our sailing is September 21st of 2024. We do have a few, when I say a few, maybe a handful of rooms left at half price. So if you want to get on that icon, you need to get in touch with me uh, so I can get you booked because I don't have many rooms left. Again, uh, I, I think we're pricing at like maybe 2300 And right now uh, they're going for over five uh, for both of the rooms that we have. So um, get with me if you want to uh, book those. So it'd be great. Yep. Right. All yeah. right. Perfect. One thing else on uh, uh, World Caribbean is simply the sea was over in the Mediterranean on Sunday. They had uh, a man overboard. The ship was able to turn around. They launched rescue uh, boats and they were able to rescue the man that allegedly fell overboard. So th this is a good save because um, that doesn't always happen. And Norwegian Pearl was coming back to Miami from Bahamas also this past week. And somebody fell overboard, a man overboard, 41 year old man, and he was not recovered. So uh, Coast Guard and the cruise line search for hours and hours and Coast Guard will stay for a long time. And uh, yeah, he was not recovered. But so uh, Royal Caribbean, so they, they did uh, occasionally uh, people are rescued. Uh, so that's why they do what they do. And if you're ever on a ship when they do that, you're going to be down for a little bit because they're going to it's required by maritime law. So, yeah. Yeah. And maybe that's why I had that dream that. When I went overboard, because we talk about people going overboard yeah, all the true. time, it's crazy. And and I'm telling you, I don't see how you go overboard accidentally, it's but not, it possibly could it's happen. Not. But no, well, in our dream, in my dream, it did happen okay. accidentally. But anyway, all right, let's talk a little bit about Norwegian. Um, they the Viva, of course, oh, yeah. their new ship. Uh, it will be here in a few weeks. Um, Dennis and I will be on it at the end of the month. We cannot wait to show you in CL Viva. So that's coming. Uh, that's our next um, big reveal to you guys at the end of this month. Um, but also we have our first responders cruise. You do not have, a, have to be a first responder to go, um, but that is coming up March 9th through the 16th. Um, today and tomorrow are the last two days that you can book. Um, I have reduced rates for the reduced rates. If there's cabins, of course, up until two weeks before, or two days before, as long as there's cabins, you can book. We just won't have reduced rates. So if you have not gotten on that with us, please do. There's about a hundred of us going. So and the um, balcony is about six hundred dollars cheaper what we have right now. Yeah. So if Maybe you want to join the big party, cocktail parties, everything that we're doing, please make sure you get with me um in the next few days because that pricing is going to drop off um, and full payment is due at time of booking. And there's a lot of so. not first responders going, but they yeah. want to be a part of the first responder thing and they want to be on that cruise. Hey, the ports are amazing. Yeah, for the ports are really the reason. good. You're going to Cozumel, Grand Cayman, Jamaica, and then a Great Stirrup Cay in the Bahamas, the private island. Mm. And the drink package is included. And the drink patch package works on the island. So you do not have to break out any money. As soon as you get on the ship, seven days, everything's included, including the great drinks that you're going to have on uh, Great Stirrup Cay. So, and of course, it's an NCL Escape, which is my favorite NCL ship. So, Guy um, ship. come party with us. We would love you to do that with us. Again, that's March 9th through the 16th. All right. So, get in touch with me. All right. Next thing we got Saga Cruise Lines, right? Uh, Saga, it's a spirit of discovery. It's a small exploration, mm. 58,000 ton ship that was uh, transi transitioning 
Uh, it was going to the Bay of Biscay, which is the upper Atlantic Ocean off the coast of France. And it, in, in, uh, it had encountered uh, some weather heading into where they were headed to. So they decided to go for it. I would say go for it. It seems like they just risked it. Well, no, they have the weather and all that stuff. Well, when it got, it kept going and they closed the port where they were supposed to go because of the weather and they were stuck in the middle and it took a beating. Supposedly a hundred people were injured. It was only a thousand people on board, but a hundred people were injured, some damage to the ship, but it was all, the ship was safe. It's not ready to sink, but the reports that are coming in. So if you want to look that up, you can look it up. Spirit of Discovery. Um, you can look it up and, and there's a lot of uh, news on it. Uh, a terrible deal for the cruise line and the passengers that were on it. Uh, but they all got back safe. So, yep, 100 injured. Yeah. All right, let's jump to Celebrity. Um, Celebrity has a little bit of news. Uh, they did announce their new ship coming out. It's a new Edge class. Um, it's going to be called the XL. Uh, that's the name of the ship, XL. Um, they also introduced a new priority pass. It's like a VIP pass. Um, you get priority boarding, a welcome lunch, um, <coughs> excuse me, priority tender, um, upgraded Wi-Fi, wave service fees. Uh, it's like $32.99 per day. I'm assuming per day per person. Um, that's what they're going to be doing. Um, let's see what else. Oh, uh, we do have a um, December cruise next year I'm going to be putting out for you all. Uh, we've talked about that a few shows ago. They are actually bringing a celebrity ship to Port Canaveral, so we're very excited. Um, and it is doing one four-day cruise. To, like, it's doing a four-day, and then it's going to start its five, six, and seven-day. But it's doing one four-day. For those of you that have not cruised on Celebrity, this is a great ship to try Celebrity. Um, and it's going to be out of Port Canaveral. So I am putting together that group uh, for everyone and I will send that out. Again, that's December of 2024, uh, beginning of December. So I'm going to be putting that out for you guys. Um, yep. you see? And the NCL Escape, I see somebody put, uh, posted on here. They, they went to uh, New York City to Nova Scotia on, on Norwegian Escape and had a, a <clears throat> great time. Cannot not have a great time. Yeah. Cannot not a have a great time. time. The food is great. The drink package is amazing. Yeah, the one that we're doing in, in, in March is going to be amazing because the ports are just great. Mm. We're not going to Belize. We're not going to Honduras. We're not going to Costa Maya. Those are all, to me, overdone. Uh, there's not a lot yeah. going on it's, there. It's They're kind of overdone. But yeah, great itinerary. And we're going to have <clears> great <throat> people on on board, so I cannot wait. Yep. And then uh, I was going to say something. But, but, um, well, talk about airline news now. A couple, couple of things. Interesting. So Breeze, uh, there's a new Breeze airline. Uh, they are going out of uh, Burlington, Vermont, and Plattsburgh, New York, to Tampa. Uh, Burlington, Vermont, to Orlando. So they got Orlando and Tampa from Vermont now, and uh, from Plattsburgh, New York, to Tampa. So mm -hmm. it's intermediate airline. They're they're really up and coming. They're filling the gaps like a Velo uh, airline. They're filling the gaps on the smaller airports in your neighborhood, down the street, a half hour away, 40 minutes away. They're not the big ones. And they're, they're really good priced, direct flights. So they're, they're connecting the Northeast. And uh, Burlington, Vermont said there, there was, I guess it must have been the mayor there or the, yeah. And he said that they're, they have 200 people a day going to Florida and coming back. So transitioning wow. 400 people every day, just out of Burlington, Vermont. So Florida, you know, we're busy. Well, yeah, because... We're busy. I would like to go to Vermont, I think. Now, um, mm -hmm. we've got a, we, yeah, I love Vermont. I used to ski up there in so. New Hampshire and Vermont apples, amazing, and, mm -hmm. and maple syrup. Um, American Airlines, here's an unfortunate thing. Now, I read the article, I read multiple articles on this, so it's not just one article, but a woman is suing American Airlines uh, for a very unfortunate thing. She had the unaccompanied uh, flight for two of her children, 10 and 12, two boys. What that is, you pay ahead and then a, a, a flight <coughs> attendant manages them or a staff and takes them, make sure they get to their next flight, make sure they're taken care of and they're safe and secure. What happened was, what we talk about, they were they were going from, I forget where they're going from, oh, Missouri to um, New York and had to stop in Charlotte. Guess what happened? Mm, they got delayed. And the flight was canceled. Oh, no. So they lost their children. Uh, they didn't lose the children. They took the children and put them in a room. And under the the guidelines and what they say for $150 a piece, 
they would have, if they ever get held over, they would have bed, they would have food, they would have whatever. The kids were cold. They didn't have cell phones. The oh, mom for no. hours could not find them. And then they finally, uh, so she's suing the airline. So I don't, I'm not speaking yeah, on behalf I, of either know, or. I wonder but, why they did a, um, a connection, unless they didn't have any other choice. Because most of the time, no, if you're doing that, you have to From do Missouri, not... they're going to have a connection. Right, I understand that. I know where you, where you can't help it, but most of the time, that's why they say when you do that, it has to be a nonstop. Yep. So, but, so disastrous for shit. them and the airlines yeah. are figuring out. I'm not saying all of that is like whatever, but American Airlines, I know will do the right thing. Um, the other thing is just so you know that, so on a company flight, so between five and 14, it is mandatory. And, but they have on a company flight from five to 17, they're not going to take anybody younger than that. So if you ever have that, or if you want to know that that's what it is, but if you're 15, 16 and 17, it's not mandatory, but it is from five to 14. So there you have it. Um, and it, so I, I just want to talk a little bit about, I, I think we talked about this, but I don't remember. Um, did we talk about our experience with Southwest and the wheelchairs? Oh, no. We're I don't not. think we talked about that. Mm. So Dennis and I flew Southwest um, from Orlando to Montego Bay. Uh, we had nonstop flights. Um, and I think we had talked about this a few shows before um, about the wheelchair um, situation where because with Southwest, you get your boarding, A, B, or C. Um, and then you have like 1 through 30 or whatever they have, 1 through 20, 20 through 30. Uh, and there's no assigned seats, okay? So what people have been doing is they are saying that they need a wheelchair because those are the first people to get on. Um, and I think Dennis and I were kind of like, oh, yeah, we could see that happening. Well, we did experience it in both, both airports. So going to Jamaica and coming back uh, to Orlando. Um, yeah. How many wheelchair? It, it was worse oh, in Orlando. It was so and, we, bad. and when we tell you, listen, I understand that there I'm not saying that that you can see someone's physical um disabilities. We know that from having a child. Uh, but I would say maybe two of how many wheelchairs were there needed the wheelchair. Because when they got to the other end, like when we left Orlando and got to Jamaica, they didn't need a wheelchair to get off the plane and walk all the way through customs and everything. So yeah. it's happening. So Southwest There's, has got to do something we, about it. We even had two. Um, so there was this lady that was in front of us. She got out of the wheelchair and she literally walked straight down faster than mm -hmm. I did down the walk. I'm looking. There's just no way. And then there's a lot of stories out there for mm -hmm. that. Something Southwest has that they haven't changed yet. I think just too many people are taking advantage of that. Yeah. And absolutely. we absolutely saw a person, no kidding. We saw this person in Jamaica um, before they got on the airplane, walking around, doing everything outside, like nothing came in. We don't, we just happened to recognize this person. And she looked at me and says, is that that person? And we saw outside and I go, it is. And they were in a wheelchair being pushed around shopping right up to the airline. And we saw this person, no wheelchair, no nothing, didn't need one. And I'm like, okay, God is going to pay you yeah, back I mean, for that. It, it's I mean, that's just, just bad. And it, anyway. you know, we, we had covered the story and we, we were like, no, this can't be happening. Yeah, it, it is definitely happening. So I think Southwest needs to um, pay attention to that. And I know they really can't because of ADA laws and everything. Mm -hmm. They can't. But listen, we didn't think it was happening or to the extent that it was, but it did. Yeah. So, and I'll yeah. tell you, uh, Dan Klein from the street. So if you go online, I want if you want to read some really good articles, especially on Carnival Royal Caribbean, mm -hmm. some of the cruise lines, some of the travel, Vegas, uh, airlines, Dan Klein, the street, give a shout out to Daniel Klein. Go look him up. You can get right online. You can read his articles. Uh, you know, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Great articles. He did a great article on it. And, mm -hmm. and you're trying to be neutral about it. Say, look, we're just trying to tell people. I think they need to change their policy. It just has to happen yeah. because it's unfair to the, because we watch them go on before children. Some un, un, unaccompanied yeah. or no children, fa moms, so moms, dads together. that need ex yeah. assistance. And, and they're yeah. like, we're looking at two year old kids and, you know, trying to walk and uh, whatever you get it. So anyway, anyway, check it out next time. We went we, to the back of the plane and had plenty of room. So yep. that's another tip. Go all the way to the back. <laughs> and, and this is not negative on Southwest because no. they did an absolutely amazing job yeah. flying to Jamaica and back. Shout out. Everything was perfect. Very clean. The, the staff was amazing. Uh, filtered us through the airport. Jamaica airport was amazing. 
it looked like it was going to be catastrophic because there's so many people, but it flows. Yes, but I can tell you a little Mobay, trick that Club I Mobay. will sell to all of you. Uh, Club Mo Bay. Um, I know a few of you have seen that when you go to Jamaica. It is well worth the money. Um, it, it it's costs different uh, prices at different times. Um, Dennis and I did the VIP experience round trip, 166 for both of us. It was, it was worth it when we got to Jamaica because they take you to a, a separate um, going through customs line than standing with everyone else that's dumping in there. Much shorter. And it is but, much shorter and you have a lounge to go to and then coming back, it was much shorter. Um, and they give you drinks and food and everything while you're sitting in the airport. We were um, we met by this wonderful girl. As soon yeah. as we got off the airplane, our names were on the card and she took us the whole way all the way through stud stood by our side the whole way yeah right to the lounge phenomenal. where they had drinks and food and everything sandals does a good job too they had to have their own lounge there too but we yeah. did this club bay bay thing so we could talk about it's it and well tell you it. yeah on the way out yeah. was the lounge was huge on the way out that we went to yeah it was uh food and drinks. just kept bringing food yeah. and drinks and a red stripe mm -hmm. beer whatever you wanted it, it's worth it it's just amazing so yeah shout out club mo bay uh southwest airlines great job all right, let's do stocks. Yep. Stocks, stocks, stocks. Carnival closed at $12.78. Norwegian, $13.28. Royal Caribbean, $95.22. Um, we have some airlines. American Airlines, $12.05. Yeah. United, $38.05. Delta, $34.10. And Southwest, $24.02. Drawings. No, you can do. Oh, wait. I'm going to say it, but I'm not going to believe it. I'm going to say it. Are you going to do Joke of the Week? Yes. Okay, you can go ahead with your joke of the week. Okay, so joke of the week is so this is coming, this is coming from outside, it's coming to us. So <laughs> from Jordan oh. in New York City, Jordan. So right. okay, a polar bear walks into a bar in Alaska. Asks for tell you know, he walks in a bar in Alaska, okay. sees the bartender, and asks for a rum and coke. The bartender looks at him and says, Hey. What's with the pause? He goes, what? I was born with him. I love that one. Very good joke. At least that one's clean. That one's I clean. Do it's say good. That. Joke of the week. Polar bear, uh, Alaska. Yeah. Where else the polar gonna, What's bear going to be pause? except the... I get that. What's with the pause? What's with the okay, pause? <laughs> All right. So it didn't take me as long to get that. While you're looking, we do ones. our drawings. Uh, we've got to mention Veterans Day. Oh, yes. Absolutely Veterans Day. Anybody know when it is? Bum, ba -da -dum, bum. November, right 11. November, November 11th. November 11th. I have some statistics for you. And before, I'll tell you statistics after we, no, we're doing drawing last. Yeah. Okay. So statistics. I don't know if you know this, but the, the number of veterans varies. How many people have actually served our country in a military capacity? One of the, what, two, three, four, five, six branches of service now. Um, so in 2018, it was 7% of the population. That was the last recorded one that I could find. 19.1 million living veterans in the United States. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. It doesn't matter whether you serve one day or you serve 25, 30 years, 40 years, yes. which um, we were on the Carnival of Venezia. How long was that guy? A commander. Oh, gosh. 30, no, Colonel. Colonel. He was a Colonel. 30 colonel. something years? 30. 30. No, wait. He went in when he was 20. 20 was 58. 40 years. Yeah. 40 it's years. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, 40 years of his entire life. I, I actually talked to him on multiple occasions. Mm -hmm. And I said, I hear this a lot. All the people, people that got out and, and, and should have stayed in or should have got out, got out and should have stayed in reserves, whatever. They served their country, did a great job. But I said, how many times did you want to get out? Because you hear this all the time. Oh, I wanted to get out a million times. He said, one time. I said, one, one. time? <laughs> he goes, absolutely meant, meant to be in the military. It actually fit me. I had one, one hookup uh, in Washington, D.C., with some bad supervisor and and it was it was over. He stayed in, he he left out of Washington, DC. So uh thank you for his mm -hmm. service serving our country for 40 years. Yeah. That I mean his whole life. And let me tell you, when I say in shape, I was in the gym with him. And I told you I worked out every day I, and I, I walked around. Really... I was in a gym. He's squared away yeah. shape. Uh yeah. he's not quite I think yeah, I was 58 years old. I'm 61, but he was in much better shape than I was. So his wife was too. So all right, there you His go. Better shape than you. Better shape. 
<laughs> squared away better shape. <laughs> Actually, she was better shaped than me. Uh, she was. She was definitely better shaped than I am. All so right, here we go. That's funny. Drawing. Okay. Drawings. All right, drawing, drawing, drawings. All right, our first winner is Donna. Donna Papa. I see you on here. Donna Papa, Donna Papa. All right, our second winner is Josh. 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 Josh, Josh, Josh. Josh. Not our son, Josh, but the other Josh. Um, and our third winner is Jennifer. Congratulations to you three. We did three this week. Um, and we'll do some more next week. Yep, we'll triple it yes, up next week, too, yes. to make up for the ones we didn't make up for. Yes. Two weeks not drawing. Yep, all right. All right. Well, we love you all. Stay safe. Uh, safe travels. Thank a veteran. Remember, it's uh, yes. Saturday, but Friday, doesn't matter. It's Veterans Day. It should be Veterans Week and not a day. Month. There you go. So uh, <laughs> let's get our government. Let's work on that. Let's get a Veterans Week. There's a lot of weeks on things on yeah. stuff. Why is it not Veterans Week? Veterans Month. That Veterans way you month. can go to Sonny's and get a free sandwich like I am. Yeah. Sonny's, thank oh, you, yeah. Sonny's. Sonny's is doing a free sandwich. Um, and mm. maybe I'll let you help me with the Christmas stuff this weekend. Because yeah, yeah, I yeah. am putting up my Christmas stuff. So, so big yeah. deal. Free for veterans this weekend. All right. All right. Stay safe, everyone. All right, we'll guys. Be out have there. a good weekend. Bye, guys. See you Wednesday.